class today and so I decided that this would be a good time to make a video. I thought about you the last couple of biology classes because we have started into the unit called human physiology. Um, and so last class or the last couple of classes we were learning about the digestive system and when they said bolisk I just I thought of you immediately because I remember when you came home from school all like guys while we're eating dinner guess what your food is doing bolisks and epiglottis and digestive fluids and hooray but yeah I, I wasn't very impressed by the digestive system unit like I did not find it interesting I actually almost threw up a couple times because she said she always watched this video where like someone was manually digesting food. She was, girl, it was icky. I almost threw up. It was so bad. It was so bad. I, I would be an awful doctor. But then we saw this new unit that is about the circulatory system, which is so much cooler because nothing is being rotted at all. Like it's just your body being awesome. I still hate biology though. I have decided I am not a biologist, but I have found my favorite biology term thing. The bundle of hiss. Doesn't that just sound like like it's just it's just the coolest name ever. I mean like they have all these like big words, but you expect that in science. So yes, like there are lots of words you can say that will make you sound like a smart, sciencey person if you say them. Arterioventricle node, perjernechne fibers, perjernechne, perjernechne, endothelium, I think is a thing, I don't know, whatever. But then, in the middle of all of this, like, big wordy stuff, is the bundle of hiss. Like, doesn't that just sound like something from Merlin? You're in like the dictionary and then all of a sudden there's like the mythical bundle of hiss but it's like it's like the bundle of fibers in the middle of your heart so like right there right like in the middle of this organ that like passes electrical currents and makes your heart beat and makes you be alive and it's called the bundle of hiss and just i just think that's like the coolest thing ever i still hate biology i had like a major nerd out like i like in the fit of nerdiness, I picked my favorite biology term. Who does that? Who has a favorite biology term? Oh, funny thing though. While we were learning other, like all these biology wordy, big, lots of big words associated with the heart. This is why it's so hard to be a, a heart surgeon. Not because it's like delicate or anything, just because you have to know all the long words and be like, carefully, you don't touch the audio ventricular node there guys because if you say it wrong they'll just poke it and then the person will die but the cool one this one my second favorite biology term now is the sino arterial note sino arterial the sino arterio or the sino arterial node i think that's what it is because because when they said that this guy who's in my history class was like, doesn't Sino also mean like Chinese because of like the Sino-Japanese war? Which it does. But as soon as he said that now, I'm picturing like a little, this might sound nice, I, but I picture like a little Chinese person in your heart like telling it to beat. Because that's what does it. The Sino, the Sino arterial node, it like, it sits in your heart and like goes, okay, beat, beat, beat. So now I'm just picturing like, a little Chinese person yelling at my heart every time it beats. And to that time, I remember it now because forever in my mind, I will have a little Chinese person right here in my heart. In other news, I um, wanted to mention I have never noticed the gap between your teeth. This is going to sound so random, but I've never noticed the gap between your teeth as much as I have in your YouTube videos. Like, I've never noticed it before. And I just want to say that it's really cool. You have a very cool gap between your teeth. If you think about it, it's very high fashion. You have very high fashion teeth. Because so many times on America's Next Top Model, there have been like these people with gap between their teeth. And Tyra Banks loves it. A bunch of people love it. And like on this season, there's... I'm talking about America's Next Top Model. How did I get from biology class to America's Next Top Model. No. 
If Hazel Grace, Hazel Grace Lancaster can proudly watch ANTM, if John Green has written the words America's Next, well, ANTM into one of his books, I can watch ANTM and be a nerd. But anyways, you have cool teeth. Oh, actually, I'm glad that you asked me about the alphabet man. I was kind of like, meh, with calculus, like, this isn't very cool, bro, like, like, I like calculus, but you're going really quickly, and this is, this is not okay. But then today's, today's math class was really awesome. We got into class, right? And then I go, oh, can I go to the bathroom? Because, like, class didn't start yet. So I go to the bathroom, and I come back, and everyone's, like, standing up and moving things, and I'm like, what the heck is going on, guys? Apparently, he just told us to move all of the tables to the side and make a giant circle of chairs in the middle of the classroom. So I was like, okay, so we all end up sitting in this, like, awkward circle, right? And someone, of course, goes... My name is so-and-so, and I'm an alcoholic, and everyone laughs. But then we basically just spent the whole class, he just took the whole class and asked us, how are we doing with math? How are we doing with the rest of our school? So there was, like, people freaking out. There was, there was actual tears. One girl started crying at one point, actually, because I told her that I had just found out that the October report cards are our predicted grades, which means that we have to, you know, do stuff now that will decide whether or not we get into universities. Ah, I, I freaked out about that, like last week. I mentioned that to him that we hadn't known this, that a lot of us didn't know that at all, and so what anyway was she didn't know that, so then she freaked out. There was people, like, a lot of people who, like, as they started talking, their voices got, like, shaky, and it was just, he was really good about, like, listening to us. Yes, no, he is, he is okay. I, I have a lot of respect for him as a person and as a teacher, and I swear I'm going to be ranting again next week, but... It's okay. Right now, it's my good books. Oh, the moth pictures? You literally, like, just, it was, come in. Hi. Hi. Sorry, am I interrupting? No, I'm talking to Emily. On your camera? Yes, because, because I never get to Skype with her, and so we've done this thing now where we just, we film, we film each other videos, so it's like, delayed Skype sessions. But because, cool. Yeah. Good, okay. So we're gonna send her pictures. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, Emily. <laughs> yes. Now I feel like an idiot talking to my camera. Um, yeah, okay, we know that moth picture that you sent me? The build-up to it. I was literally sitting, thank goodness alone, sitting in my room, being like, don't, no, I don't want to see it. It's going to pop up on the screen any minute, but Emily told me that I have to watch it, so I, I'll, I'll watch I was picturing it was going to be like one of those giant moths, you know, where like, it's a moth, but then like, it has a face on it. Like, you know those ones that are, like, the size of your face, and they have a face on them? So then, like, I was picturing one of those popping up, and I was about to start crying. And then, I mean, it was okay, because they were just, like... But I, I'm not going to get that close to a moth. Heck, you know I'm not getting that close to a moth. But it was, it was a very cool picture. Sorry, something weird happened to the audio for the rest of the video. So here is me making pancakes for our parents' birthdays with little hearts on them. Oh yeah. Okay. Love you. Bye. See you later. Mwah.